In the following video, I'll be showing you how to use the analog to digital inputs of a PLC, a model DBP, a DS2 series. So the DS, uh, S, sorry, the SX2 series has a four analog to digital inputs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use two of them. So first of all, let's see the diagrams. And uh, well, let's start first. Before that, the uh, the objective of this practice is to use the analog to to, to digital inputs of a PLC, and we're going to be reading voltages from zero to ten volts. The hardware is going to be uh, we're going to use the DVP twenty SX two, which has four di analog to digital inputs, and also to monitor we're going to use the, an HMI, so it's optional. You, you, can, you can do this practice without the, the HMI. But for visualize the, what, what is going on with the inputs, I'm going to use the, the, the HMI. Also, we need a voltage regulator, so a 10 volt voltage regulator, and you can use the LM7810. That will, that will give you 10 volts, and uh, the output. Software, ISP soft, and DOP soft. And let's start with the diagram of the voltage regulator. So the voltage regulator has uh, three pins. Uh, one of the, one of them is the input voltage, which can be any voltage uh, above uh, uh, ten volts. Uh, I mean, uh, but not that not that high, but uh, it could be above ten volts. Uh, I'll be using uh, twenty-four volts, and it's totally fine. Twenty-four four volts and direct uh, current dc current uh, voltage dc current dc voltage sorry and the output is going to be 10 volts and dc and the middle ter terminal is the ground and this is the diagram that i'm using that, that i'm using to wire the my plc so i have the my power uh, my, my voltage source uh, 24 volts uh, dc i putting the positive end of the voltage to the input of my voltage regulator and ground I ground in the, the, the ground terminal to the negative terminal of the of, of my voltage source and the output is going to be 10 volts the, this regular is going to give you 10 volts so that uh, and then I'm using two potentiometers uh, R1 and I'm using a, a 10k ohm, 10, 10 kilo ohms to vary the voltage from zero to 10, which is the maximum, right? So I'm sending uh, zero to 10 volts to terminals uh, B0 plus and the other to terminal B1 plus and terminals uh, B10. Uh, uh, voltage input zero, sorry negative and i'm sending that to to the negative negative side of my power source and b1 b voltage input one negative i'm sending that also to my to my negative um, side side of my voltage voltage uh, source if you go to your manual you're going to the manual for for installation and you're going to find the diagram that will show you how to wire for voltage input and once again you're using the com and the b plus and you can also use for this plc you can also use a uh, current so i will uh, i will later on do an, another video that will talk about uh, reading current but if you're reading current and uh, you have to sh may put a short between the uh, e plus and the um, b plus and there's a couple of no notes here for instance uh, node 2 says if if input signal is current please short out short, short out between b plus and and e plus terminals and also there are other usual notes here that that will help you when you're doing your wiring but for this practice i'm using this um, diagram and I only only using these uh, terminals, and I using the the E plus or the E minus. I only using these ones. 
Well, so once you have your uh, wiring all set up, then it, it will be time for us to read the, the what the voltage is. And in in order to read the voltage, you're going to be in the value using the D1110. The D1110 uh, address will give you what the average value of, of the analog input in channel zero. So this is this is channel zero. The D1111 is going to give you for channel one, which is this one, B1. And these are the two that we're going to be using for this practice. And the SX, uh, SX2 model have uh, four uh, analog to digital inputs, which are these uh, four. So right now, let's start uh, running the um, ISP soft. And I'm going to go on, right, OK? So right now, I'm, I'm online. Oh, and I'm reading whatever value is in D is in D eleven ten. So let me put my camera, and I'll show you what's going on. So pretty much, I have my PLC running. I'm using the voltage inputs of the of the PLC. Sorry, voltage input of my PLC, and I'm wiring that to two potentiometers on that I have on a slider here. And also, uh, I'm using a voltmeter to read whatever value of voltage that I'm sending to, to my PLC. So let me show you that. So right now I have my uh, slider at uh, halfway. So I'm reading uh, roughly 5.6 volts. And on the other potentiometer, if I increase it, I, uh, the, I can increase it up to 10 volts, right? So now let me put set up my camera here. Going to give you a little bit of a uh, zoom. OK, right there. So if I have, and uh, right now you can see here that for potentiometer one, I have 5.6. And for D1110, it's, going, it's giving me 1222, that, that, that's the value. So it will, the, the PLC is going to give you a, a, a value on the, on the ranges between uh, zero and 2000. So if you want to start making calculation and want to work with uh, values between one and 10, then you divide that, that value into 200. And that will give you one to 10. In this case, I'm divided it by 20. That will give you a value between one and 100. And that way you can use uh, like a decimal point. Uh, remember, the PLC doesn't use uh, decimal points. So if you want to use a decimal point, uh, the decimal point is going to be implicit. So uh, 56 uh, with a decimal point, uh, which is implicit, will be like 5.6. And this will be 2.2. 5.2 so it's uh, implicit so whenever calculation you're doing you're going to put that as, uh, as an implicit and later on I'm going to show you how you can do that using the, the HMI okay so right now I'm going to run the uh, DOP soft and what I built here is um, two sliders and two um, uh, uh, numer numeric displays. So for the slider, I'm going to double double click it, and I'm going to start monitor the D0. And the, this is the this is the the address of my PLC. Is the station address is uh, three, and I'm going to be monitor a D0, which if you recall, D0 is the the divided uh, value, the result when you do the division between D1110 and divided by 20. So I'm going to monitor this value. 
the, the and the ranges for this value is one and through a hundred. So the minimum is zero, the maximum is a uh, hundred. Okay, and the this is for d zero, and the other is for d one. Now for the text uh, displaying displays. So for this, I'm using the same uh, address, and I'm going to monitor d zero. And I'm uh, in details. I'm going to set up integer integer digit digits. I'm going to put a value of two. So I'll be using two decimal values. And now go into fractional, and you put a number one. So if the hundred, it will, it will give you one de de decimal point. So if the value is uh, 55, it was, it's going, the value is going to be shown as 5.5. Uh, so then I and also I change this color of the text and the color of the background. So I put OK. Then I'm going to download that to the HMI. Okay. So on the HMI. On the HMI, if I move the, the sliders up or down, the sliders on the HMI are, are going to move as, as well. So right now on the slider one, I'm sending a voltage of 5.7 volts and it's res displaying, yeah, 5.7. And for the uh, slider two, the voltage is right now is at 2.2. Uh, and roughly the, the the same value 2.3 right so this is the the actual voltage that i'm sending the 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 voltage that i'm reading using this bolt this uh, bolt uh, reader bolt me a meter okay And let's go back to the document. Okay, perfect. All set. Okay, so I'm going to leave a um, uh, link for to get the the, the program for for the HMI. For I mean so for the PLC, the the program of the ISP soft that I'm going to use on the that I use on this practice. I'm also going to get a copy of the program that I did in DOP soft and a copy of a, of a PDF or Word document that includes the diagram. So it's going to, I'm going to zip it on one on, on a folder and a file and I'm going to leave the link on the description be, below. And later on I'm going to use um, uh, I'm going to make another video that will show you how to to set up a voltage uh, output. But that's going to be on, on another video. So, well, so th thanks for watching. If you have, if you like the video, please uh, share, like it, subscribe if you haven't done it so. And if you know someone that can benefit from these uh, videos, you can share this video with that person. Okay, thank you and thank you and thanks for watching.